Um, but before that, Roger, I think you would be just going to do a little couple of short videos and an introduction to Tom Reagan and, and some of the ideas that we'll be talking about through the course of this session and later today. Mm, yes, indeed. And so, um, hi, Earthlings. And so, yeah, I'm just going to give you a little kind of introduction. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes. It includes a couple of little clips from, from Tom Reagan. And um, so Tom Reagan was born in 1938 and died sadly in 2017. So as I said then, it's a kind of gentle introduction to his work, which um, you could sum up as being called the rights view, the animal rights view, the idea of rights-based animal rights. Tom Reagan wrote a groundbreaking text in 1983 called The Case for Animal Rights. And um, it was a groundbreaking work of philosophy and it was designed to be the philosophical groundwork of the animal rights movement. Didn't quite turn out that way, so that in itself is a bit of a talking point. But if you've ever found yourself using a slogan like, we don't want larger cages, we want empty cages, then essentially you're articulating the abolitionist animal rights view of Tom Reagan. So, Tom Reagan argues that we cannot use other animals for any purpose. And regardless of whether that use is useful to us or gives us pleasure, for example, by eating other animals or any other kind of use that we might get from them, like, for example, regarding them as models in vivisection experiments, all of those things are ruled out by the abolitionist animal rights position. The question it raises for us as animal advocates, as claims makers, in why should we not use them? Now, that question in the animal movement is usually met by welfare-based responses. For example, it would be cruel to use other animals or that it, we should be merciful towards them or that we should love them rather than treat them cruelly. For Tom Reagan, on the other hand, he would respond with animal rights uh, arguments about why we, we cannot use them. He would argue, for example, that other animals are rights bearers. And that means that when humans use other animals, that's a rights violation. Now, there's one important point that we uh, should make straight away is that we're not talking about giving other animals rights. The case for animal rights suggests that other animals have rights. Our job as animal advocates is to gain the respect for those rights that other animals already have and to see those rights codified into law. And so moral rights would become legal rights. So we'll, we'll tease those kind of ideas out um, in a little while. The rights in other animals create duties in us. So this is the, the kind of fundamental position of animal rights. So given all that, some suggest that abolitionist animal rights is extreme and that the animal rights position is extremist. And so you might be surprised to find that at least in terms of the end part of that, that Tom Reagan himself would agree. So here's a short video from 1988. It's not great quality but it's from a speech which is still regarded by many people as the best animal rights speech ever given in the history of speech giving in our movement. And it's called the Sword of Injustice or Sword of Justice. And um, this is where he talks about being an extremist. The position we hold the abolitionist position often is said to be extreme, and those of us who hold it are said to be extremist. And the unspoken suggestions are that extreme positions cannot be right and extremists must be wrong. But I am an extremist when it comes to rape. The 
and must be. For when the injustice is absolute, then one must So uh, I hope everybody had their lighters in the air at the end there to the, to, to the music. But um, Reagan, essentially, he's saying that abolitionists are opposed to oppression all the time. And it's a morally consistent view. And so if moral consistency is interpreted as extremism, then so be it. You know, if we take a morally consistent view, that's a good thing not a bad thing it's not purist it's not taking the moral high ground it's not being holier than thou it's just being morally consistent and so just before we bring in Nella and Tim comes back um, I want to show another clip which uh, was made by Jeremy Hess and these are the words of Tom Reagan and some uh, images not graphic and uh, this basically outlines some of the main ideas of Tom Reagan's The Rights View the philosophy of animal rights is on the side of reason for it is not rational to discriminate arbitrarily and discrimination against non-human animals is demonstrably arbitrary the other animals humans eat use in science hunt trap and exploit in a variety of other ways have a life of their own that is of importance to them apart from their utility to us they are not only in the world they are aware of it and also of what happens to them the philosophy of animal rights stands for not against justice we are not to violate the rights of the few so that the many might benefit this philosophy therefore is a philosophy of peace but it is a philosophy that extends the demand for peace beyond the boundaries of our species to stand truly for peace is to stand firmly against their ruthless exploitation Respect other animals and their rights. Live vegan. For free support to start living vegan, and resources such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com. Thanks for watching.